solve that problem in a relatively short period of time. You make a great point, sir. So the it is a massive, diverse industry, and it's not uh, not all operations are the same. However, your your previous statement where you used a, a very important term, sequence. It has to be at the right sequence. Currently, point. 0.01% of operations could be supported. So we, the, and that's part of the pr problem is the clean trucks rule, all these things are way too aggressive based on the current infrastructure. And we have made, many carriers are actually making increase in the, when the utility tells you you're three years out from converting to 10 forklifts in a warehouse, that just, it, I think that should alert us to the fact that we're just not there, and once again, we're on board with getting there in a gradual fashion, but even come January of this year, we're not, we're not quite there. But we, we, we welcome the opportunity to kind of inform the rulemaking in legislative process. When you see changes like this, how does that impact your business specifically? Yeah, I, I guess it, we, we'd have to have a lot more trucks to service the same amount of freight, and then we'd have to, uh, you know, we, we really, as of right now, it's not even a consideration to invest in battery electric trucks. And the clean truck f fleet rule uh, is not saying, as Senator Markey said, hey, particular applications is more applicable. No, you're looking at, hey, every motor carrier, you have to have this percentage. And that's just co completely irrational. So you're saying the regulations don't accommodate kind of what we're talking about, that maybe school buses would be a good application, but long haul trucks would not be. It, the regulation's too broad. It's too blunt of an instrument to actually make that sort. It doesn't have that nuance. Is that Th fair? That's, that's a great analogy, yes, because all school buses have the same uh, kind of characteristics in operation. Trucking is so massively diverse. Now, I thought you just said something, though, about it's a discouragement to make investments in battery trucks. Yes. Is that what you just so, said? Well, right now, because, as we said, the sequence, the, the power generation, if we, if we said right now 25 new nuclear plants are going in to create clean energy in the country to feed the grid and other renewables, and then we're going to build, the, in parallel, the charging infrastructure, hey, then we're considering it. That's a business decision. We all want to reduce fuel consumption. That's good business. But without those in place, there's actually no consideration whatsoever. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Boyle.